I am not, 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 I am not a licensed mobility scooter technician. I do what I do to keep my machine working. If you're having problems with your machine, I suggest going to your dealer. If you add accessories, warranty goes bye-bye. So I just kind of want to enjoy what I can while I can. So I strongly suggest you don't do the things that I do. I make the mistakes so you don't have to. <laughs> So the camera shut off already, so I don't know if you missed anything. I just get the measurements for the batteries, and one of the tubes that was in the ES950's crappy tires was garbage. The air was coming out as fast as it was going in, so this one seems to be holding. I'll check it in a few days, see how it's doing. There's just a little bit of pressure on it, just enough to force it out if there's a hole. And we'll see what happens with that. But my goal right now is to make a frame for the ES950 so I can put the batteries on it. Because I don't want to drive the monster anymore until it's fixed. I'm so worried about something going wrong. But I don't know for sure yet <clears throat> because These battery cables are 
aren't long enough on the ES950 to come out to the floor so I have to extend them and those wires are in the basement at the moment so I don't think I'm gonna go in grab them and come back out I'll probably save them for tomorrow but for now I just want to get them mounted on the ES950 oh and I can't do that I have to put them back in the monster because I haven't charged them yet from today's trip crap I forgot and I don't want to leave them drained overnight so I'm gonna have to put them back in so for now I just I gotta get the frame built and as you can see they're gonna stick out the sides a little bit because they're so big <laughs> but such is life it's my only option right now so this is what I'm doing
Okay, so that's all I've got for today. A little bracket, a little straight bracket that I want to put on to keep the batteries from sliding around. And I'm just going to screw it on from the bottom. I'm going to put one of these screws, but shorter. I'm going to put a washer on and just screw it up from the bottom. That'll keep it in place. But to keep the batteries from sliding around, I'm going to put these brackets one at each end and at the corner of where the two batteries come together. That'll keep them from moving. And when I had the spare batteries, the second set of batteries on the back of the monster, I had straps that I used to hold them in place. I will use those to hold the batteries down. And then I got to work on the wiring. Um, I'll see what comes of that. <laughs> but in order to continue what I'm doing now, I have to bring stuff up from the basement which means I'm done for today but I got the main part of it done I just got the little details to work on now so I gotta put the batteries back in the monster so I can charge it up overnight and come out here and finish this in the morning or afternoon whenever I come out it shouldn't take too much longer I, just got, I gotta take the old batteries out of the, out of the ES950 Kind of figure out, kind of figure out how I'm gonna do the heat shrink. I think I should say do the connections. I think I have. I don't want to just put electrical tape around them. I don't trust that. I do have some heat shrink tubing, really big. I think it's in the basement too. I've seen it not that long ago. I think it's in the basement, and I will bring that up. I start populating my little drawers out here because I don't have anything in them. <laughs> everything I need is in the basement still. I haven't brought anything out. That's all I got for today. Okay, I'm ready to continue. First thing I'm going to do is screw this in from the bottom. I got my screws. I got some washers in here that I can use. I'm just going to use a screwdriver for now. <laughs> I'm exhausted already. So I got my battery terminals for when I extend the batteries out, or battery wires out. So I got those, I got bolts for them. And I found my shrink, heat shrink tubing. I'm hoping it's not too big to put around the connection so I don't have to use electrical tape or anything. And I've got the brackets to hold the batteries in place. And I went through every strap that I found in the basement and I only found one this is a strap that I used to use on the extra set of batteries that I had on the monster when I had when I was running two sets of batteries I only found one of those I don't know where the other one went to of course and I found another ratchet wrench so I now have three <laughs> so when I need two again it won't be as hard to find and I found some ball joints. I'm not sure if these are lefts or rights. This was uh, when I was searching through YouTube and Ama or YouTube, eBay and Amazon and that, looking for ball joints that I could find cheap and quick, just so I have some available to me when I need them. But I'm not sure. They're, they don't look as strong as the monsters ball joints do. So I've never used them. But I don't know if they're all lefts, if they're all rights, or if there's a mix of both. I don't really know. They're not really labeled. I'll have to take a look at them to see how they're threaded. So if I, hopefully they're rights. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> because I don't know how long it's going to take to get the parts from my dealer. So I've, I forgot to mention that in my last update. I have ordered... I've ordered my new rear tires, I've ordered the right hand ball joints, and I've ordered a new charger. I forgot to mention that in that last video. 
So my goal today is to get this done so I can actually start using the, the ES950 because right now I can't use either of them. So I took a day off yesterday because it took me a while to find stuff in the basement here. <laughs> So, I'm not exactly 100% sure where to begin, but I know once I, once I have to cut this wire, I don't have a knife. My little blue knife just kind of vanished. I don't know where it went. I don't know if I used it when I was putting the switch on this thing here. A snowblower. I looked inside to see if I left it in there. I don't remember what all tools I took in with me. So I don't know if it got left inside or not. I checked my bag that I bring everything in and take everything out with. It's not in there. It's always, always sitting on here. This is where, oh excuse me, this is where I usually use it. So this is where I leave it. It's not here. It's not up there. It's not over there. So I don't know where it went to. My only other option is maybe Zach borrowed it and put it back with his tools. I don't know. I don't know. But I'll get to that when I get to that. <laughs> so for now, I gotta pull this out a little bit and I gotta lift the front end up so I can get underneath it and screw that bracket or that frame in from underneath. And that will hold it in place. I'll see if I can find something. Holy crap. That's a scanner. It scared me. All the straps I got here, maybe I can find something else that will work. Because originally I was going to, before I attached this, I was going to put the, the strap underneath it so it can pull down on it. Maybe I'll just use a bungee cord on each end or something. I don't, I don't know. Well, like I say, I can only find one. I have no idea why there was only one there maybe I used the other one for something else I don't recall but you know, it's possible thinking I'm probably not going to use them again I don't know but should be it I'll, I'll figure something out I just want to get this done today because I didn't get to go up yesterday I didn't even come out to the garage yesterday I'll explain that in my update video but I guess we'll see what happens. So let's get to it.
So that takes care of that. Didn't go 100% of the blend. <laughs> so I was one bracket short, so I had to replace it with whatever this is. I don't know where this came from. It's been hanging around for a while, sitting on my shelf. It was part of some package that I got. I'm not sure. It would be nice if this would actually reach. <sighs> These were longer. I wouldn't have to make longer wires. But I know they're not going to fit. Unless I turn the batteries on their sides, which I'm not going to do. So the battery trays are stuck to the batteries. I know from experience they're a real pain to get off those batteries. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to leave that open for now. So next thing I do is set the batteries in there and figure out how to anchor them down. They're really heavy. This thing doesn't go super fast, so, you know, it's not going to be bumpy. I probably don't even need to stick them down, but... I might just bungee them. I don't know. I will decide once I get to that point. But right now, it is time for a break. I just noticed something. Uh, these battery wires, these are from the Monster. They're longer than the ones from the ES950. If I loosen these, adjust that. I'm pretty sure these are going to be long enough. I'm not going to have to make new wires. That makes me very, very happy, because <laughs> that's going to be a long job. So I'm going to try it. But the batteries fit. Everything fits good. I'm happy. I'm very happy. I measured everything properly. So 
So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna loosen these up and turn them so that they're hanging off the ends. Which means I gotta take the batteries off again. It worked. Oh. oh my goodness. Uh, it actually worked. Yay. Now I gotta hook up my camera's power supply. Hey. Too small. Camera power supply has power. Okay, it's time for the scooter. One. Okay, no spark, no explosions. And 
speed works. Yay. It's also reading full charge. So what I like about the S950's battery meter is it's actually accurate. <laughs> if my batteries are dead and I stop and sit somewhere they'll actually come back to life a little bit and the meter will actually go back up to match it so it's more accurate. So now I have to make a cover for them. And there we go. I am now mobile again. So it doesn't look incredibly ugly. <laughs> I think I was fearing. It doesn't look too bad. It's functional. It works. I gotta stop at the dollar store one of these days and grab a couple more rolls of this. This is useful stuff. It's a rubber shelf liner, and it's got like a million uses. One of the biggest uses I've used it for is battery covers, actually. Because that's what I had on the, the Monster when I had the second set of batteries on the back. I used that to cover them up, and that looked pretty good. That's also my little extra flap here on the front of the Monster where I had to cut the front end to fit the bigger batteries in. That's the same use for that. So, now, I don't think I'm going to anchor them down right now. Like I said, this, this scooter's not fast enough for them to bounce out. Plus, those brackets are pretty high. They would have to bounce pretty good to come out, come out of their space. So, I'm not going to worry about that. I don't plan on rolling this thing over or anything. So, now, i got to put a camera mount on. And I'm ready to go out and enjoy the day. It's not too bad today. The sun's out at the moment, but it's raining off and on, and there's more rain coming. Uh, so this... And I can talk about the weather. I'll save that for my update. So, the S950 is complete. Well, once I put the battery, or camera mount on, I'm good to go. And I'm going to take the waterproof one off the snowblower. I'm not going to be using the snowblower anymore. This is where it came from anyways. I'm going to put it back up there so I can drive this in the rain. I'm covered down here as far as rain goes. And then I can start working on the Munster. Oh, 
my back is so sore <laughs> but I'm happy I completed a job I am now mobile again so now before I can start working on the monster it's going to go in here I got to bring my trailer down in case I need it so it's going to go over here so I'm going to have limited space so I need to finish my plywood there I need to finish putting the shelves in here so I can get rid of this move this crap out of the way it'll give me extra space maybe it's possible instead of over here maybe I can put the monster over here I don't know because it looks like it might be apart for a while I'll explain that but for now <clears throat> everything's good yay so put that on and let's go for a tour <laughs> 